I'm Heather and today I'm going to review for you The True Blue Scouts of Sugar Man Swamp by Kathy Appelt. Um, I've been wanting to read this book for quite a while. What drew me in was the picture on the cover. And what the picture is showing you is two of the main characters, Bingo and Jemiah, who are brothers that happen to be raccoons. There are a few other stories that run parallel to the story that Bingo and Jemiah are in. Um, this story takes place in Texas, in the Bayou Torturelle, and um, kind of how Bingo and Jemiah protect the swamp. There's also a young boy named Chap, and Chap's grandfather loved to bird watch in the swamp, and so Chap is trying to help protect the swamp because these big developers are coming in and they want to create this Gatorland theme park where the center, the main attraction is a gator wrestler named Jaeger and she's a tiny little lady that rest, wrestles alligators. So all these stories weave beautifully together for a wonderful resolution at the end. It's a fantastic book. What made it even better was that I listened to it um, on audiobook. I checked it out from the Kitsap Regional Library through Overdrive. It's about a five and a half hour read, and it was read by Lyle Lovett, and his voice is so smooth and velvety and has this lovely Texas drawl. Uh, just made the book so much better. It's just absolutely fantastic. So whether you listen to it or whether you read it, it's a really great read for the summer. Um, it really is reminiscent of Carl Hyacinth's children books, children's books, although even Carl Hyacinth's adult books. He writes about uh, the Everglades area. Um, Carl Hyacinth wrote Hoot. He also wrote Flush. He wrote another one called Scat. And they really all reminded me of this book. And I love those books too. So Anyway, uh, if you're looking for a really great book, check this one out. It's a Newbery Honor Book winner. It also was a finalist for the National Book Award. Um, Kathy Appelt has written over 30 children's books for all different ages. This one's geared toward middle grade readers, uh, I'd say fourth, fifth grade, although um, I'm sure my kids would love it too in their second and fourth grade. Um, Kathy Appel also wrote this other book called The Underneath. I haven't written this one yet, or I haven't read this one yet, so stay tuned for a review on this. It's also a Newbery Honor book and a National Book Award finalist, so that tells you something. Um, go ahead and check it out. Again, one of my favorite books in a really long time. I really encourage you to read it. Um, you can get them both hard copy or audiobook at the Kitsap Regional Library. I know King County Library also carries the books. Um, as both both versions as well. So get out there, read, have a great summer, stay cool. It's a really hot one today. I feel like I'm in the bayou right now. Um, see you later and thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>